Well, we moved up here in about 05. We started to build in about 06, but it wasn't really until sort of 2016 that we were able to really employ guys and basically commit to it without having to worry about covering the cost. Our basic approach is to try and build the best car we can from a, you know, an engineering point of view or quality point of view. We face a lot of challenges when developing our high performance track cars. The main ones come down to the tight space constraints that we're working with and the requirement for very durable components. The common manufacturing techniques are not really suitable for a lot of the parts we need to develop because of the complexities that come from those requirements. We utilise 3D printing because of the ability to produce repeatable parts that are complex in geometries, have tight tolerances, as well as being very aesthetically pleasing and made out of durable materials that are more suited to our applications. The HP Jet Fusion 4200 has a lot of applications here at Roden Cars. The three main benefits of the printer is that is its ease of use, it's very intuitive to use. Secondly, it's very cost effective. And thirdly, it has very quick print times. We mainly use the printer here for prototyping as well as end use parts. The printer's accurate tolerances allows us to produce detailed and functional geometries, as well as producing desirable aesthetics, which can be further enhanced by dyeing the parts. One of the key attributes of the printer is its cost effectiveness. This is enabled by full powder recycling, meaning all of the purchased powder is used and the amount of waste is minimised. Here at Roden Cars we receive excellent technical support from HP. We can contact HP directly via the Expert Now app, or if further support is required, they'll send out a technician in a timely manner. It's still a massive advantage to be able to make a full-size prototype of the part and we can make them in a 3D printer and we can make them quickly, especially the HP printer. 